Hello there Cyberland, this is Cyber Trades, also be I call me Simon Trade. You join me at Sheffield Railway Station, which used to be called Sheffield Midland Station. Now the reason I brought the Midlands up is because today we are visiting three different Midland stations between Sheffield and Barnsley, which is Bonwell, Ellisker and Chapel Town. So we are waiting for the 1218 Northern service to actually take us to Barnsley first because we're going to use Barnsley as a turnaround to visit these three railway stations that I have planned. So our train should be arriving now to take us to Barnsley. Before we start today's video, I just want to say that if I do sound a bit different, it's because I've just had a sore throat over the weekend, which I do apologise, but unfortunately it can't be helped. But we're now at Barsley Interchange, we're only here for 20 minutes, but this is also not a Midland Railway Station we are visiting today, this is more of the pre groupie Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Station. But the original company that opened this station is a bit of a mouthful, which we'll hear in the station's history in a minute. We are waiting for the 1300 Northern service, take us to Wongwell, which will be our first station. We're also at Barsley Interchange, you can interchange with the buses here, and it's also close to the disused railway station of Barsley Courthouse Station. So we're going to do the station history of Barsley Interchange station now, and then catch our train to our first location. So we're going to start this station history off with Barsley Station. Barsley Station was opened on the 1st of January 1850 by the Sheffield, Rotherham, Barnsley, Wakefield, Huddersfield and Goode Railway, which was later absorbed into Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. That is a not a name for a railway company. There was a Midlands Railway station here, a named Barnsley Courthouse, which closed on the 19th April 1960, and it was very close to Barnsley Station. 2nd of June 1924 it was renamed to Barnsley Low Town. 1st of August 1924 it was renamed to Barnsley Exchange. 13th of June 1960 it was renamed back to Barnsley and the 20th of May 2007 renamed to Barnsley Interchange and the free letter stage code for Barnsley is BNY So 150.222 is going to take us to our first location we're going to hop on board now and visit one well Now the last time I was at this railway station was back on the 25th of February 2017 and it's when the Pacers actually were on this line. But this is the second time that I've actually been here in my life and this is One Well Railway Station. It's Northern Trains operated and yes, it does have two platforms indeed. Now time for the station history of Wombwell Station. If I called it anything else, I do apologise. Wombwell Station was owned by the Midlands Railway on the 1st of July 1897. 25th of September 1950, it was renamed to Wombwell West. 
because there was another station in the area called Roomwell Central, opened by the South Yorkshire Railway in 1851, but that closed passengers 29th of June 1959, and Roomwell West was renamed back to Roomwell on the 20th of February 1969, and the free letter station code is WOM. So between Meadowhorn and Change and Barnsley, you get roughly about six trains per hour on this line. Now four of those six services actually stop at all the stations we are busy today. The stopping service is operated by Class 150 Sprinters and Class 15A Express Sprinters. The Class 150 Sprinters do Huddersfield to Sheffield and vice versa, and the Class 158 DMUs do Leeds to Sheffield and vice versa. The only ones that don't stop at this location are the other stations we're visiting are the Class 195 DMUs because they do express from Nottingham to Leeds. Also my advice is at One Well Station is to film on this side, Platform 1, because at the other end of the platform you've got a bridge and the track curves off to the right. So we're now leaving One Well Station. We're waiting for our train, the 1405, to pick us up from here to head to our next destination, Eliska Station. And then at Eliska Station, we're going to have another hour filming there and get the six trains in the hour passing through that location. So our train should be arriving now, the 1405, to pick us up to take us to our next station. Right, somebody called the Risk Power Station Police because I have messed up with the Power Station of this station name. I call this Ellis Car Station. That is the wrong Power Station. The right Power Station is Elsie Car Station. But what we do know about Elsie Car Station is it is Northern Trains operated. And yes, it does have two platforms indeed. We're now going to move on to the station history of Elsica Station. Elsica was opened by the Midlands Railway in July 1897. At one time it was also known as Elsica and Hoyland. Ticket machines were installed on each platform in 2018 however something happened to them in May 2021 and we shall get onto that in a second. And the free letter session code for Elsica is ELR. Just seen a marker board here say 169. <laughs> but anyway, the other reason I want to talk to you about it is because we are going to the waiting room here, or just outside here, to talk about this. That is actually a ticket machine, but it's boarded off because it's been vandalised. And honestly, it's not okay to vandalise ticket machines for the thrill of it. Because people do need to buy tickets before they board the train. So unfortunately, at this station, while they're boarded up, you have to buy them on the train or Use the e-ticket. The next train we are catching is the 1509 Northern service to Sheffield to take us to our final station, Chapel Town Station. Now unfortunately, we're not going to be leaving here bag on time. We'll be leaving here about seven minutes late. The reason for this delay is that there's animals on the line near Peterston Station and they're being dicks. Yes, the animals are being dicks. But it has delayed our train a bit to get to our last station we shall be filming at, Chapel Town Station. 
So it should be arriving now to pick us up, to take us to our final station, which is one of my favourite stations in South Yorkshire. Now I honestly don't know where this rain's come from but it's absolutely annoying at Chapel Town Station but we're going to try and carry on filming trains here because we are expecting the RHTT here as well, the Railhead Treatment Train which is due here about 4 o'clock. Hopefully the rain is off by then but I don't think it will. But this is Chapel Town Railway Station, it's normal trains operating, it has two platforms and the two things I like about Chapel Town Station is the first one is just down here where there's a disused railway station because that's where the old Chapel Town station used to be. And right behind me here, which you can't see, but there is an Asda literally right there. Just to clarify quickly, Chapel Town station is just there, and the Asda is just there. Literally all you got to do is go down a ramp, and you're literally in the car park at Asda. We're going to move on to our final station in history of the day, Chapel Town. Chapel Town station was opened 600 metres from the current station in July 1897 by the Midland Railway and was originally known as Chapel Town South. The site of the first station closed in 1984 when the South Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive opened a new station, which is where we're standing on today, which was also opened in 1984. This Chapel Town station is also not to be confused with the one on the Tarka line between Barnstable and Crediton. And the three letter station code for Chapel Town is CLN. Carol, you told me it wasn't going to rain today. There you go, Carol. Carol, get back. First of all, it was nice to see some direct rail service Class 66 diesel locomotives at Chapel Town Station. Now, usually that RHTT working is Class 20 local hall, but direct rail service don't have any Class 20s anymore, so that's why they'd use top and tail Class 66 diesel locomotives. The good news is it has stopped raining at Chapel Town Station, but the bad news is the train that is supposed to catch out of Chapel Town is really about 12 minutes late. Same reason, animals on the line near Penniston Station. Now, the other thing with Chapel Town Station you've got to realise when you're filming here is that both platforms are public right of way. So, pedestrians will use this platform to walk up and down to get to either Asda or just pass through the station. So, you just got to be wary of that when you're filming at Chapel Town Station. Other than that, it is a lovely location to film at indeed. Especially at the disused station down the bottom because we like filming the trains passing through that disused station. So, anyway. We are leaving Chapel Town pretty soon, just going to film a couple of trades before we leave and then we're going back to Sheffield.
So I'm now back at Sheffield's railway station. We're just going to quickly talk about today's journey from Sheffield to Barsley and back. Barsley had never filled because I only had 20 minutes there to spare, but we did visit the free station I had planned. We did visit One Well, we did visit Elsica, and we did visit Chapel Town, even though Chapel Town was absolutely drenched with rain. Don't know where the rain came from because it was planned to be sunny all day like it is now. Luckily, the sun came out as soon as I left Chapel Town station. But the highlight of the day at Chapel Town Station was that railhead treatment train with two Class 66 diesel locomotives. That was the highlight of the day of working to get through Chapel Town Station. Also getting the Northern units passing through and stopping and departing and arriving was brilliant as well. The only delay there was animals on the line near Pelliston Station which delayed a few services but at least we got to the three stations that I wanted to. Meadow Hall Interchange I could not do because I could not have the time to do it and the Sheffield Super Travel wanted to do that actually but unfortunately I did not have the time to do that as well. So I'm going to end this right here so if you do like this video feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. There's an end card coming up now on the screen if you want to watch another video of mine. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you soon for the railway journey.